Hey, what's going on YouTube? I'm Emo25 here bringing you another game on the Pokemon Trading Card Game Online and just like last time I'm going with Mega Mom and this time I'm going against Rayvor. Basically the idea of Mega Kangaskhan with Aromatis is to have something that will not be that no one will be able to knock out in one hit. But Rayquaza is just the opposite of that. <laughs> Rayquaza can pretty much knock out everything it wants. Yeah, so I will have to deal with that, so let's go and check the battle. <clears throat> uh, my opponent will flip tails, I decide to go first, that's good. Uh, decent start, really decent start, because as you can see I have um, my best opening. <laughs> and I don't even have to get rid of one Colrus right now, because I will be able to end, and that end pretty much gives me crap. God dang <laughs> No, I know and I hate you so freaking much, but please don't give me crap. That's not nice. <laughs> really not nice. Uh, thank goodness my opponent plays that skyline. He's going for that tropical beach. But so far no tepic and things are looking good for me. I hope. <laughs> I really hope. Anyway, right here I'm going to evolve that aromatis. I will attach one fairy energy. I will play that in and um, basically I will get rid of uh, one Professor Juniper and one that thing. <laughs> By that thing I mean Tool Scrapper because most likely Raver will not play Tool so I don't care. And right there I have two options, either I go for that Tropical Beach or I go for Geomancy. I decide to go for Geomancy because I think I need the energy. If my opponent does not get uh, what he needs in the next turn, pretty much this game will be over. But no, my opponent gets the Tepix out of that Tropical Beach. No, out of my end. See, Anne really hates me. <laughs> And right there, I was thinking to waste that Lysander in order to get rid of one Tepic, but now I don't have to because my opponent was very nice and he promoted one Tepic, which means that Tepic will die if I need to. And right there, my opponent is taking his time, most likely he has something that he can do. Nope, he goes straight for that Tropical Beach. And right there, I'm going to play that Cold Race. Obviously, I don't want to. <coughs> I don't want to um, discard to Lysander just like that. That's really not a good idea. And right there, I thought, okay, maybe if I get rid of that Depic and sometime, someday, I'm able to throw, to get that Lysander before that Tepic comes into an Ember, I'll be just fine. And that's basically my plan right now. Here comes Fennekin again. Makes sense. <laughs> if you ask me, that really makes sense. And well, looks like my opponent is really not drawing that good. Yeah, that's not good. Anyway, here we see an Ultra Ball, there goes away another Tropical Beach. That's sad, that's really really sad. You never want to see a $200 card to go like that into the discard pile. <laughs> Even though it's mm, virtual card, you don't want to see that. Right there, my opponent finally gets that Ember, which means... Yeah, nothing good. And as you can see, my opponent is finally drawing right or okay not good because that means I'm screwed <laughs> anyway he promotes another Tepic right there I had a couple of options actually I could uh, get rid of this Tepic try to do something I don't know <laughs> anyway right there I have nothing and I decided to go for Tropical Beach, which by the way gives me nothing, and right there I was stupid, I was going to Tropical Beach. Anyway, so those two energy on Cernias are not supposed to be on Cernias, they are supposed to be on my bench safe, because this is Raybor, which means my opponent can get a Rayquaza and everything going on, 
and I will lose two energy just because I'm stupid. Good. <laughs> ah. Well, as you can see, a second Skylark goes away. Things are really not looking good. Uh, don't like it. I really don't like it. Especially because I know one Rayquaza is coming and I'm scared. I'm scared. Uh, yeah, I know those two energy are not supposed to be in Serenia as that was just plain stupid. Basically, I got scared of that and that's why I did that stupid thing. Anyway, maybe in the end it doesn't matter because my opponent uh, showed me that he played Lysander, so maybe it's really not such a big deal that to happen. Anyway, we see Professor's letter and right here I thought, oh no, no, I'm going to lose to energy. No, <laughs> not good. I need this Cernius alive. Dang it. <laughs> And next turn, if the Serenius goes down, I will have to discard two max potions. No way, two max potions. Three max potions, because of course, <laughs> the only card I need not to top deck is the one that I top deck. Obviously, always. Dang it. Okay, so right there, um, I get a lot of things. Good. <laughs> Not exactly what I was looking for, especially because I think... No, I attach energy. I had one energy in my hand before I played that Juniper, I think. Anyway, right here I'm going to spread the energy. I don't want to risk losing the energy. And since <laughs> basically I'm going to Mega Evolve, there is no need for me to waste energy right there. That's not a good idea. And that Tepic is stuck. Looks like my opponent is really not getting a lot of things and oh my god, that's scary. <laughs> that's really, really scary. No, my Mega Mom is going to die and my Max Potions are gone and... Well, three of my Max Potions are gone. I still have one fourth left. But at the moment, pretty much... <clears throat> the objective of the dead has not been fulfilled at all. Thank goodness my opponent is drawing so bad, really so bad. I mean, I'm drawing even worse, but my opponent is really not drawing many things. And since he already discarded two Tropical Beach, I'm thinking that maybe he only has one left. Yeah, I think just one left. That's my guess. Anyway, right there we see <coughs> Superior Energy Retrieval, three energies back. Uh, if I were my opponent, I will have evolved that big knight in that... I mean, that Tepic into that big knight instead of discarding that, but... What are you going to do? He does not appreciate having extra Tepics for no reason. Uh, <coughs> dang it, things are really not looking good. And we see Rayquaza getting a lot of energy. That's really, really scary. But thank goodness my Mega Mom will need five energy in order to die. Which, by the way, I think he will be able to get. Not good, not good. Okay, so right there, basically, my only option at the moment was I need to get rid of that Ember. <laughs> I really need to get rid of that Ember. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play that Lysander, I'm going to promote that Ember, and if I'm lucky enough, just lucky enough, this Ember will be dead and I will be happy and blah, 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 blah. Tails. Flip. Tails. Great. <laughs> Dang it. Ah. Big Tini use a point. A lot. <laughs> if you had switch, why didn't you play that before? Dang it, and now if he gets to fire energy... Yeah, you will see a Dragon Burst with 5 energy in order to knock out a Pokemon. That does not happen very often. Oh, that's going to hurt a lot. Really, that's going to hurt a lot. Gosh, I didn't want to see this. <clears throat> really, I didn't want to see this. <laughs> uh, 
Anyway, I know now my opponent will go for an in, which is weird. I thought that he will go straight for Professor Sycamore. I think he's playing Sycamore instead of Juniper. There really was no reason for him to go for in. I don't know, maybe he thinks I'm way too stuck. Really, I have no idea. Anyway, right there I'm going to get back to energies in one Mega Man because if I'm going to win this, I will need a Mega Man right now. So what I'm going to do is I will <coughs> get that Mega Mom and I don't care if I have to give up one more prize with the Cernias because to be honest at this moment I think I'm screwed. <laughs> uh, yeah. And here comes another Ember so that's even worse. No. 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 Anyway I know my, for a fact that my opponent will end if he went for that end, most likely that means that he really needs that. But as you can see, he has already gone through a lot of stuff. So I'm really not that concerned. Because looks like he's running out of steam. He cannot get the energy. And basically at this moment, the only thing that can pretty much take me down will be a Delphox out of nowhere. Which, by the way, is not happening. Not now. And that end was lovely, lovely, lovely. Look at that. Just the energy that I need in order to attack with Kangaskhan. I don't remember the, the attack of Kangaskhan, so I will not even try. Uh, yeah, most likely the Serenias is going down. <laughs> most likely. Seriously, I cannot see the Serenias surviving for the turn. Yeah, we see one superior energy retrieval, one, two, three, and four energies. Thank goodness Ernie has 130 HP, which means this Rayquaza has to waste one extra energy in order to get rid of this Ernie uh, Basically, my last turn I was debating myself if I should promote Aromatis instead of Cernias. But I was thinking, okay, um, he needs to waste the energy. <laughs> Basically, that's the only way I'm going to win. So right here, again, as I told you before, the only thing I'm scared of right now, because he's played a lot of supporters by this moment, is Delphox out of nowhere. So what I'm going to do is I need to kill that Brazen. I need that thing dead. I don't care about this Rayquaza, um, even if he has the... Superior energy retrieval. I don't think he will be he will have enough energy in order to knock out my Mega Mom I don't think he will and right there. We see a huge Hit coming from this Mega Mom and thank goodness. I have my last max potion in my hand and right here I'm praying <laughs> I'm praying that this guy does not play an end right here. I will hate you so much go Lux Ray 228 Really no end, please please Gosh. <laughs> uh, so let's see, what are you going to do? Pokemon Fan Club, that is not an end. And this is one of the first times that I see Pokemon Fan Club being played. I have not seen that card very often. So I'm happy, here comes down um, Lining Energy to Rayquazas. Things are really not looking good. I'm scared, really scared. <laughs> Uh, but as you can see, basically he has only energy and he's going for that Dragon Burst or 120, thinking that um, basically I have nothing. <laughs> but Little King knows that he's in pretty much gave me my last max potion and <laughs> nope, you will not knock out this Mega Mom right now. <laughs> this Mega Mom is way out of your league. <laughs> Uh, so right there, basically if I'm going to win, I think I need to get my Lysanders back. That's pretty much the only way I'm going to win. I'm convinced of that. Anyway, right there I will play that Skyla for, <clears throat> for a Colress. <laughs> basically I will bench down that Victini and go for a huge Colress. You can see lots of supporters right there because my own end pretty much gave me crap the whole game. 
Yeah, and right here the energy is going back into my Mega Mom. And Rayquaza will not appreciate that one bang punch to the face. And two times in a row, again, tails. Double tails. Really? Can't think. Well, right here, since my opponent has no hand, uh, pretty much he's playing prize denial strategy and I don't care. <laughs> as long as he does not get... Uh, a supporter, I'm okay. I'm okay, that's basically the only reason I try to go for that break instead of trying to knock out this Rayquaza. And it's... Paying off, as you can see, pretty much the that was the only thing my opponent had in order to keep cards going and going and going because he already wasted so many resources and here we see a Skylam. That's not good, which means I need to I need to do something. <laughs> really, I need to do something right now. Gosh, that's really not good. So what I need is basically play as many cards as I can. And basically the only way that I'm going to win right now is I need to get rid of that Ember. <laughs> and I get one and one and I don't want to flip. Yay, that Ember is gone, which means at the moment my opponent can do nothing. <laughs> I mean, he can play Price in Isle strategy, but I don't know if he plays Super Road, I don't know if he still has Embors and Epics, I really have no idea. Right that I should have played that um, Muscle then, but I didn't want him to go to waste in case he plays Megaphone or Tool Scrapper. But right now he... I don't think he has a lot to do with just three cards. Because if I'm lucky enough, I'll be able to one hit knock out this Rayquaza and that is a game <laughs> in the end my opponent can sit because he can do nothing without Ember. Anyway guys that was the game. Uh, <clears throat> what can I tell you? Mega Mom has such a high HP <laughs> pretty much. Leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to see more content. Thank you all for watching and I will see you all next time.